After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. been with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for nine years. We get the inmates when they first walk into the door. They're either drunk, high, highly agitated. They have just been arrested, so they take out their anger on us. So our job as sergeants down here to try to calm them down. So I enjoy it. Every day is different. You're laughing about it. I walked down and he's laughing about Whoa. that. I'm bleeding all over my face. Are you oh. sure? Yeah, you have a little cut up on your eye. That's I have good. a little cut. Does this look like a little? To you. What were her charges? Uh, she was brought in on a battery and a uh, trespassing charge. All right, thank you. You gonna put me in jail for that? You're hella bad, real bad, tight. Yeah. Oh, push, push, push me up against the wall, horse. Cross your ankles. Cross my. How the am I supposed to cross my ankles with this bitch on them? I need to start listening to what? I'm gonna get her. The other direction. Bitch, if you pull my head one more time, your name will be the first on my lawsuit. You must. Don't move. Stay there. Thank you. Everybody else? Yeah, I don't live like this. I need okay. to shoot. Hey, I'm a girl. I'm a girl. We had this one individual in the red shirt, had her calm. She's been in here for several hours. And because she came in here and was so wordy, she's got her worked up. So we're going to end up having to place probably this one in the chair for a cool down period so we can get these others to calm down. You need to calm down. You need to calm down. Seriously. You, you need to calm down. Uh, she came back from the pat down area, I heard yelling. Uh, she started cursing out the officers, cursing out medical. Hopefully. I don't know if she's going to make it. Hopefully she calms down. Yeah. Let's go. Can I get some shit? You're going to go right down to the ground. I'm cold. I keep saying that. Step up. Go ahead. Step out of your pants. Step out of your pants. I'm cold, man. We're going to get you a pair of blue pants. Oh, you're going to break my no, wrist? No, I'm not going to break your you wrist. Squeezing wrist. You're squeezing my wrist. You're squeezing my wrist. You're squeezing my wrist. Step out of your pants. Step step up, up. You're squeezing my wrist. Do not try to pull away from I'm me, sir. I'm not pulling nowhere. I haven't moved. I have not moved, and you flipped it again. You're jamming my ankles and my knee. Stand back. Have a seat. <laughs> Sit down. Oh. Let me see that. My, my bladder, sir. All the way back. You can hold it. Okay. I'm not going to spit on that. I don't get down like that. Right, but you can Good. get off my pelvis, though. <clears throat> this is sad. Rick, three, one, two, three. What exactly happened? Uh, he was complaining about being too cold. He started shaking. Uh, I was trying to control his arm. He pulled his arm away. So he, he felt that I was, uh, was uh, hurting him or whatever the case was. So then we just placed him in the chair. All right, good job. All right, guys, listen up. We got two female inmates in Z6. We just put another inmate in there for a cool down period. Well, she got the other one worked up. Now they're bouncing around in there. Uh, make a threats towards the officers. Uh, for their own safety, we're gonna put them in the restraint chair, let them cool down a little bit. Wow, did that make you guys feel better now? When I get out of here, I'm gonna find out all y'all bitches who live around me, I'm burning your houses down. Y'all better take me somewhere to go, because I'm not gonna shut up. Oh, man, I was trying coming? to go to sleep. Come on now, I was just- You yeah. dumb bitch? Yeah, you okay. dumb bitch, that's why you in here. You dumb bitch. That's why your lip got popped by a cop. You dumb And you bitch. know what, bitch? Your lips gonna get popped by me if they flame me out. Nah, this not even. Are you gonna you stop know? now? Are you gonna stop? Am I gonna stop what? Are you gonna stop running your mouth? You know what? I'm not. Since they're venting at each other, we're just gonna let them go at it. Maybe it'll tire them out, and we'll come back and check on them. Maybe we can get them out of the chair. This is stage two of your cool down, OK? I'm going to let you out of this chair, do everything else we tell you to do, all right? Switch feet. Switch feet. Okay, we have an understanding? Yes, we do not. Bang on the door. Okay, if you pass this, we might get you out and start your booking process, okay? Stay there, don't move. A little time in the chair. Seems he's 
calm. Yeah, I, I think he's gonna make it. I mean, uh, you see how we're not gonna take anything from him, so yeah. um, hopefully he'll he'll be able to uh, get through that process and get an open booking so he can start his booking process. Yeah. All right, you've calmed down. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna stick you back in here for another cool down period, okay? Yeah. Okay. Try it. Oh. Jump on All in there. Yeah. Right, like that. Stay there until the door closes. Okay. We're using toilet paper, okay? I got this. Oh, it seems to have calmed down, so we're gonna give her another shot and see what happens with her. But the other one's just not calming down. She's really upset with this, so we'll go back and check on her again. So. She was very highly agitated. Verbally abusive, made threats towards the officers. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have them take a look at her, try to talk to her. See if they could calm her down. We don't know if she has any psychological issues, but they'll be able to determine that later. Maybe she has some other issues we don't know about, but she complied with all the orders, so we'll see if she cools down. It's just a typical slow night, which we don't get very often. You never know when things are going to go off again, so you always have to be prepared at all times so that we can make sure that we run a safe facility for the inmates and for the, the officers around. I'm going to play with the rules. 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 How about instead of playing with them, you just follow them? I'm going to follow your rules. Because they hurt. I'm sure this gentleman is a burglary attempt suspect. Uh, appeared to be very intoxicated under the influence of some sort of narcotic. It was pretty mellow on the way over here, but apparently he became abruptly uh, rude here at the jail. Apparently it's said in that he's going to be going away for a little while. Do you have any allergies to medication? I'm allergic to milk. Sir. It's not medication, it's milk. Well, I can I drink not milk to save my life. I will die before I drink milk because it hurts my well, If you drink milk, you'll die. So. Well, like. I got it. Don't All right, I have no I problem with medication. I'm allergic to milk. Got it. All right, please don't give me any milk, no, and I'm you, fine. No. If, if somebody offers you milk, I'm going to swat it away from you. I don't want you to get any milk. They'll tell you. All right, thank you, sir. All right. I'm going to help, I'm help you. All right. No milk. No head. milk, people. No milk. All right, good to go. You got an empty sheet right down the front row. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's up? My name is uh, Joe. John. 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 He's being quiet. Right. Follow suit. Yes, sir. There's other options for me. There There's is. no other there options is. for you. Not for so, me. So hopefully he'll sober up. If not, we'll have to remove him from this area so he can be by himself. Look, that fool right there with the green suit told that me fool? to sit here. That, 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 that fool that right officer, there? That officer. That officer. Fool. That officer. Fool, huh? Well, he told me to sit here. Fool, huh? Okay. That's just how I talk. That's right now. I'm going to take your advice, officer. But you're not, because you're still talking. Listen up there, Junior. How you act on the street ain't how you act in here. These ain't homies. These are officers. All right. You will talk to them and treat them accordingly. I'm With sorry, respect. Officers. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Chest on the wall. That includes your hands. Keep them there. Yes. You know, we just had to finally get rid of him. He just doesn't know how to control himself or well, his mouth. Yeah, he brought the street into the jail with him. Yeah. And uh, he thinks that he can uh, speak to officers the same way he speaks to his buddies on the street. You ever been here before in our jail? Yes, sir. Hey, welcome back to the Clark County Detention Center. Glad to have you. Okay, left Left. What have you been here before for? Selling marijuana. All right, come back where you were. We got a call of uh, somebody at a Bank of America. She was upset 
and trying to get in when they were closed. Uh, they went through the bag that was left in the Bank of America and located a large amount of marijuana. And she was still there when we got there, so we detained her, started asking her questions about it. And then we wound up finding seven credit cards that didn't belong to her in her possession. So we brought her here for So that. she basically ended up leaving her bag in the bank, was upset that she left her bag in the bank, was trying to get back to her bag, is that? She was trying to get her bag back. Probably because they had marijuana and other things in it. She didn't know about that. Of course. Hey, so wanted to hear about your side of the story. Well, um, me and my friend, um, we were driving in uh, his best friend's car, and we were going to cash a check at Bank of America, and there was a laptop case. So I was like, bring that in. I don't want it to get stolen. So I cash a check, and he sits it up on the counter, and we go to walk out. We go right across the street to the smoke shop, and then we realize that the laptop case was in the... Um, the bank. So we run back to the bank, and then um, at the bank, they wouldn't let us in. They just closed. And they say that you have to get through Metro. And all of a sudden, two cop cars roll up behind me. We and a bunch of credit cards in there. And so now I'm in here with six felonies for all of them, just because my name was on one of the cards. But the the felonies aren't mine because it wasn't in my possession. It was illegal search and seizure, and I got a good ass lawyer. So I'm gonna get out tonight. Sounds good. Well, good luck to you. Jesse, how are you doing now? Sobered up? So you're doing a little bit better? Yes, sir. Do you remember anything about what happened out there at all? I mean, you were being really well, loud and disruptive and... Out there? Yeah. No, I don't know out there. I just remember I got kicked out of my friend's house because I was too drunk. Nobody wanted to drink with me, man. <laughs> so nobody wanted to drink with you at your friend's house either, huh? Well, I'm glad you're doing better. Glad you're more sober now, okay? All right, just have a seat right there in that corner for just a second. I got something else I'm going to help you out with. You know, Jesse now is uh, really calm. He's got his head about him. I'm glad we did take him out of that area and brought him back here so we could cool off. And now he's a much better person, and so hopefully we'll get him through that process.